Hi friends, welcome. Today we are going to discuss about Bootstrap 4 containers. Let us start. In Bootstrap 4, we must need a container to place your HTML elements. Any HTML element, H1, paragraph, input type, anything you must need to place under a container. This is a must rule in Bootstrap 4. In Bootstrap 4, we have two container classes. The first one is container and the second one is container fluid. The container class is used to create a responsive fixed width container. Based on the device size, it will automatically adjust the container size. Suppose if the device size is less than 576 pixels, then it will occupy the complete width, 100% width. If the size device size is greater than 576 pixels and less than 768 pixels, then the container size will be 540 pixels. And if the device size is greater than 768 pixels and less than 992 pixels, then the container size will be 720 pixels. And suppose if the device size is greater than 992 pixels and less than 1200 pixels, then the container size will be 960 pixels. If the device size is greater than 1200 pixels, then the size will be 1140 pixels. Now we will see an example, then you can easily understand this. Now we are going to write a sample container example. First you need to include the bootstrap.mini.cs and bootstrap.mini.js. You can directly use these links or you can download and you can provide the path here. For the container, first you need to provide div and then the class will be container. Okay. This is the syntax. First you need to provide the div and then the class will be the container. And then you can write any HTML here. Now just I am writing h2. This is container. And you can provide anything here. Suppose input type and value equals to container example. Okay. Now we have a container and just I added these two elements. Now just I saved it and I will run it. This is the container, just I will run it. Now this is the output. For better understanding, just I will add the padding and the some background color, then it will be very easy to understand. For padding, just you need to provide P3 and just for spacing, my3. For background, BG dash dark and text color for text white okay now we have provided p3 I, I will explain these things again just i saved it and just i refreshed it if you have to this is the do box as i mentioned previously based on the device size it will automatically adjust it now i will just minimize it if you have to just i am minimizing this is the smallest this is the less than 576 pixels it, it occupied complete 100 percent now just I will increase the size. If you have to, it's, it's automatically. Now the size is 540 pixels. As I am increasing now, till now it's 540. If it reaches the window size is greater than 768, it automatically uh, increases the container width to 720 pixels. Now I am increasing. If you have to, have to, have to, have to. If you observe, it's automatically increased the size to 720 pixels. Like that, if you observe, if you increase the size, it will automatically adjust it. Now I am increasing. If you observe, it's it's changed. Like that, if it is the size is greater than 1200 pixels, then the maximum size will be 1140. Okay. Now this is the maximum size. Now we will see container fluid. Container fluid class is used to create a full width container that will always span the entire width of the screen. And with these always 100 percentage. It's not like container. Container, it's adjusted based on the screen size. But the container fluid, it will uh, always, it will fill the uh, complete width. And it's always 100 percentage. Now we will see with an example, then it will be very easy. Just you need to provide fluid. That's it. Just I saved it and I will refresh it again. If you observe, it will automatically adjust to 100 percentage. Now, just I will minimize it and I will decrease the size. 
if you observe it's it's always 100 percentage but in case of container it adjusts the size based on the screen size but container fluid always fills always fills the 100 percentage width okay and also in the container we have some more classes we have container sm container md container g and container xl based on the device size you can use any one of these here container sm means small Suppose if you are developing a web application for specific to a mobile, then you can use container SM. This is for small devices. And you can use medium. Medium, suppose if you are developing a web application for mobile and a tab, then you can use medium. These are the, uh, based on these values, it will adjust the width. And suppose if you are developing a web application for tab and a laptop, then you can use large, LG, container dash LG. In the same way, Excel, this is the extra large. If you are developing application for desktops or laptops, then you can use Excel. And also, we can sign the container. Suppose here, P3. P3 means padding. How much space you want from the top and bottom. For that, you can use P3. This is the pa uh, padding. You can provide any value. Suppose I'm providing 7. Now, just I will refresh the page. You can understood. If you observe, it's, it's automatically adjusted like that and here my three means heading from the top how much space we need to provide from the bottom how much in those cases we will use m my dash what is the space we, we need then we can use this and bg dark if you want what, what is the background color then you can use suppose i will change it to light just i saved it and just i will refresh if you observe it changed to light like that we have so many classes these are some of the classes. Okay friends, today we have learned Booster for Container. Thanks for watching the video. Please like, subscribe and click on the bell icon for more videos. Thank you.